Okay, so in the next part, the next part is 2, 6, solving proportions. Proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equivalent. So sometimes I think when you had something like this in your other classes, you did multiplication like this and got 2x, and then you did multiplication like this, and you got 3. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing cross-multiplying. Now, personally, I would simplify this fraction first because 5 goes in, 5 goes in, so much easier, so, so much easier. Now, you can multiply, you could do this two ways. You could multiply both sides by 45, just like we've been doing. And that would, oops, there's where's the multiplication. X equals five goes into this nine, you would get 27, okay? Or you can do it like this, where you multiply here and you get five X and you multiply here and you get so 5, 12, that's what I thought. Divide by 5, and you still get 27. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. Okay, do it either way. I'm going to multiply by 8 on both sides. Why? Because that's the least common denominator. Doesn't 2 go into 8? So that's why I'm doing that. So this is going to cancel with this. N minus 4. 2 goes into 8 four times. So I'm going to get 12. Add 4 to both sides. Sorry about that. Get N equals 16. Okay. Now. All the ones that we've done so far have not had a variable in the denominator. This one's going to have a variable in the denominator. And remember that, um, I didn't want to do that. When you have a fraction, this number cannot be zero. So your denominator cannot be zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, they're called, why do I keep drawing the arrow first? Excluded values. And these are values that you cannot plug in for X. And so what I do is I take the denominator, I set it to a zero, and I solve. Divide by 2, x equals 3 over 2. So these are the numbers. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. The denominator cannot equal 0. So it cannot be 3 over 2. So when I solve this equation, the answer cannot come out to be 3 over 2. So I'm going to rewrite this now. I'm just going to rewrite it. I personally, again, would simplify this fraction before I do multiplication. Now, you could try and get rid of the denominators, but this is the time that it's much easier to do this way. 8x equals, and multiply this way, 3 times the whole quantity, 2x minus 3. Okay, so I get 8x equals 6x minus 9. And I solve, just like we've been doing. So that would be 2x equals negative not. Is that right? 2x? Yes. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. x equals negative 9 over 2. Is that 3 over 2? No, it's not. So that means this is the answer. We're going to do some more. Don't worry. 
So this one, we have variables in the denominator. In fact, both of these denominators have um, variables in the denominator. So I'm going to do 2x minus 5 cannot equal 0. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides, and I can get 2x cannot equal 5. Divide by 2, x cannot equal 5 over 2. So that's one of them. And then x cannot equal 0. So it can't be either one of those answers. So now I'm going to actually do the work for this one. So I'm going to multiply this direction, and I'm going to get 18x. I'm going to multiply this direction, and I'm going to get 12 times the quantity, 2x minus 5. Okay, then I distribute. I subtract 24x from both sides, and I get negative 6x equals negative 60. Divide by negative 6 and get x equals 10. Well, 10 is not 5 over 2 or 0, so that is my answer. Okay, so the same thing here. I have to figure out what the denominator can't equal. So 14 minus d cannot equal 0, and 18 plus d cannot equal 0. So I subtract 14. I get negative d e cannot equal negative 14. So d cannot equal positive 14. Subtract 18, and d cannot equal negative 18. So 14 and negative 18. So I'm going to do the problem. Multiply these two. Then I'm going to multiply these two. And I solve. Is that 42? Minus 3d equals, oh, I don't know this one, 6, 5, 126 plus 7d. So I'm going to add 3d to both sides. 42 equals 126 plus 10d. Subtract 126. That's going to be 4, and that's going to be 84. Uh, 10d. So I divide both sides by 10. Negative 8.4. Or if you just simplify the fraction, 2 goes into that 42 over 5. Okay. So neither one of those are 14 or negative 18, so it works perfectly. This one, x cannot equal 0. So remember, this is over 1. So I multiply this way, I get 5. I multiply this way, I get x. x equals 5. This one, x cannot equal, oops, try that again x minus 5 cannot equal 0. Add 5, so x cannot equal 5. Okay, well, let's do this problem. Remember, this is over 1. If I, if I multiply this way, 3 times the quantity x minus 5 equals this direction, I get 1. So 3x minus 15 equals 1. Add 15, 3x equals 16, divide by 3, and get x 16 over 3. Okay, over here, x plus 1 cannot equal 0, so I subtract 1, subtract 1, x cannot equal negative 1. Okay, put this over 1. I multiply this way. x plus 1 equals multiply this way. Now, I did purposely do it this way. 
x plus 1 equals 4x plus 4. Oops, 4. Subtract x. Get 1 equals 3x plus 4. Subtract 4. Get negative 3 equals 3x. Divide by 3 and get negative 1 equals x. So look at that. These two are exactly the same, so this is no solution. There is a much easier way to have done this problem. The much easier way of doing this problem would have been this. This right here is something over itself, so that would have been 1 equals 4. Does 1 ever equal 4? No, so it's no solution. Okay, over here, x cannot equal 0. x minus 4 cannot equal 0. So we've got the 0, add 4. x cannot equal 4. Okay, so let's do this problem. I'm going to multiply this way. 2, parenthesis, x minus 4 equals 3x. So 2x minus 8 equals 3x. Subtract 2x from both sides. Negative 8 equals x. So that is my answer. Okay. Make sure you see that this has a negative sign. You're going to add it to that 6 right there. Okay. So x plus 6 cannot equal 0, so x cannot equal negative 6. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this together. 3 parentheses x plus 6 equals, and then I'm going to do with the negative sign, negative 6 x plus 6. And there is a rhyme and a reason to why I did this. I want to show you something. Um, so I'm going to get 3x plus 18 equals 6x minus 36. I'm going to add 6x to both sides. I'm going to get 9x plus 18 equals negative 36. Subtract 18. A negative, that's going to be a 4, 54. Divide by 9 by on both sides, x equals negative 6. Look at that. So that means my answer is no solution. Okay, Bef let's look at this. Right now, do you see how the denominators are exactly the same? Just look at the coefficients. Are these equal to each other? No. Okay, over here. X plus 2 cannot equal 0, so that means X cannot equal negative 2. This is over 1. Multiply this way, and I get X minus 3 equals, I multiply this way, 0 times X plus 2. What's 0 times anything? 0. So x equals 3. Okay. Parts of Mexico City are sinking at a rate of 140 centimeters every five years. If this rate remains constant, how many centimeters will the city sink in the next 12 years? Now, we need a ratio. What are the two things that they're um, they're comparing. They're comparing centimeters to years. Centimeters to years. So I can make a ratio 140 centimeters to five years equals. Then it's asking how many centimeters. So let x equal number of centimeters so we're going to put x, and we're going to do 12. And then, 
multiply. Oh, goodness gracious. Equals, multiply this and get 5x. Divide by 5 on both sides. Oh, goodness. That's a 3. That's a 4. 340 what? Centimeters. Okay, next. <clears throat> Oscar makes fruit punch to sell from his food truck by mixing 8 parts cranberry juice to 3 parts pineapple juice. How many cups of pineapple juice would Oscar need? to mix with 48 cups of cranberry juice to make his punch. So, let x equal number of cups of pineapple juice so I have I'm going to do pineapple over cranberry. Okay, so here we go. It says eight parts cranberry, so that's going to go on the bottom. Three parts pineapple. And then it says how many cups of pineapple, so x. And then it says 48 cups of cranberry. So I solve this. Oh, 48 times 3. 24, 12, 144. I should have known that. Divide by 8. X equals 144. Divided by 8. That goes in once. Oh, 18. So 18 cups of pineapple juice. 